Hello, welcome back to Knitting Nicely. I'm Danielle Chauvet, your knitting coach. Today we're going to learn how to put an I-cord edge on a pillow cover. This is the floral mandala pillow cover that we will be working on. You can find the link to the pattern for this pillow in the description. So we're going to learn how to do a I-cord edge along the outer edge of a pillow cover. Now this doesn't look like a pillow cover because it's tiny. <laughs> But this is my little example. Um, so that's what a teeny little tiny pillow cover. So um, this example is for the floral mandala pillow cover that I created. Um, and we're going to learn how to do this little I-cord edge on it. You can see that I-cord edge going around. And I'll show you how to go around the corner. Get a nice little smooth corner around the edge. And I'll also show you how to kitchener the end to the beginning of your uh, eye cord. All right, so let's get started. You will need two double-pointed needles or one circular needle um, for the eye cord edge. All right, so the first thing you need to do is decide, do you want your eye cord to be the lighter color or do you want your eye cord to be the darker color? And you get to decide that, whichever one you prefer. Um, I used the lighter color on my pillow cover. So that's what I'm gonna do for this example. So I'm gonna um, cast on four stitches onto one of my needles. I like to use long tail. So I'll make a little slip knot. And that's one stitch. Two, three, stitches. Now with an I cord you are always going to be knitting in the same direction across the stitches. So um, we don't flip our work over to knit this way. We always knit this stitch first in this direction. So that's why you need a double pointed needle or a circular needle so that you can slip all these stitches over to the other end. Okay. So let's get our working yarn, and then we're going to knit the first three stitches. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay. Now the last stitch, we're just going to slip, but we got to make sure our working yarn is in the back, not in the front. Okay. Keep that working yarn in the back. Slip that stitch over. And then we're going to make a yarn over. Now, yarn over is important when we're doing an I-cord edge that is lighter or darker, so like a different color than um, the color that you are applying that I-cord edge to. Now, this part is not going to be different, and on this side it's not different, but on the back side it is different. On the back side you've got a darker color, and if you didn't use that little yarn over, then the darker color is going to start to peek through. So that yarn over keeps that from happening. All right, so I'm going to have you start a few, about an inch in from your corner. Um, that just makes it so that when you graft the end of your eye cord to the beginning of your eye cord, it's a little easier than grafting through a corner. Um, I'm just going to start a few stitches in but since mine is so tiny. So here is your garter ridge between your two colors, your lighter color and your darker color. That's the little garter ridge that you made. And these are the little bumps on that garter ridge. Now you're not going to pick up a knit on each bump. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll end up with too many um, stitches on your eye cord. You only want to knit through one of those bumps, okay? So I'm going to choose the little U-shaped bumps here. This one's kind of tight. I'm going to loosen it a little bit so you can see it, okay? These are the U-shaped ones. U, like a little smiley face. These are the other bumps. These ones are upside down U's, frowny faces, okay? I'm gonna choose the happy faces. <laughs> so I'm only going to knit through these 
happy face bumps. Okay, so here's the first one. I'm going to slip my right needle through that garter ridge bump. Now my uh, working yarn is not this, this is my tail. So get that out of the way. Here's my working yarn and it's got the yarn over still. That's good, but it's in the front. So I need to move this around to the back. Okay, I'm gonna take my other needle and this is the stitch I picked up. Now I'm going to knit through that stitch. and knit through it. Now, this is the stitch that I slipped. This is the stitch that uh, I, this is the yarn over, and this is the stitch that I just knit. Okay, so I need to slip these two over the top of this one. So push my needle through and slip them over the top. Now I have four stitches on my needle again, which is great, because that's what I want. Now I'm gonna slip them all over to the other end. Get that tail out of the way. Now I need to knit through these three stitches again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I need to slip this stitch, that last stitch. I always slip that last stitch. And then I always make that yarn over. Okay, now we need to find the next smiley face bump. Okay, you can hold that yarn over with your finger so it doesn't fall off. Next smiley face bump. This is the smiley face I just did. Here's the frowny face. Here's the next smiley face. So, go through that. Your needle, get your yarn back on your fingers, and we're gonna knit through that stitch. Okay, now here's the slip stitch, here's the yarn over, and here's the stitch we just knit. So we're gonna slip these two over the top. Whoop! Over the top. Done. There we go. Oh, I, I lost the stitch. Oh, we're gonna have to do that again. Okay, so we're gonna go through that little bump, pick up that stitch, and now let's try to slip them over. There we go, we got it this time. Whew. Okay, we got four stitches, that's great. Slide them all over. Okay. Now, if you think that we're going to knit through these first three stitches again, you are correct. Let's do it. One, two, three. And then we slip the last one and we do our yarn over and we find our next smiley face, smiley face, which is right there. You can see it with my working yarn keeps coming in the way. Here's the smiley face we're gonna go through. Okay. Smiley face, and then we're gonna pick up that stitch. Yeah, I just did it without my other needle, which is possible, you can do that. Sometimes I do it. My yarn isn't around my fingers. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna slip these two over. This is the slipped stitch, this is the yarn over, this is the stitch I just knit. So slip these two. Oh dear, what happened? I lost my yarn over. Now that's when uh, looking at your work carefully comes in handy because I just noticed that here's my slip stitch, but where's my yarn over? It's not there anymore. So I gotta take this off, get my yarn over back on, then pick up and knit this stitch like that. Now I have them. Now I have the slip stitch and the yarn over and the stitch I just knit. Okay, so I'm gonna slip these two over. And we're back to four. If you ever end up with only three on there, you know you've missed something. <laughs> okay, let's slide those stitches to the other end. And let's do one more I cord row. One, two, three. Slip, yarn over, hold it with your finger so it doesn't fall off this time. Find the next smiley face, which is right there. 
gonna go from front to back, pick it up. Okay, I did it without my needle again. Sometimes it's easier that way. And we're gonna slip the slipped stitch and yarn over, over the top. Make sure you don't split your yarn. Okay, so we're gonna continue to do that I-cord row over and over and over again. So knit three, slip that one, yarn over, pick up the next smiley, okay? We're gonna do that all the way to the corner of your, it's not a corner right now, but it will be the corner. And you're gonna do it all the way to the corner. When you get to that last stitch, start up the video again, and I will show you what to do in that last smiley stitch garter ridge. All right, so here I am at the last smiley stitch ridge right there. And I'm going to do that with you because in this last stitch, you're actually gonna do three rows of this I-cord, okay? So normally we've only done one row per stitch, but this time we're gonna do three in that same stitch. So I've got my yarn over, picking up, knitting that stitch, slipping those two over the top. Okay. Sliding the stitches over. Okay. That was my first pickup in that corner stitch. Here's row number two. Yarn over. Okay, so here's pickup number two in that same garter ridge. same one for the third time. Okay, and then slip these two over. And then we'll do our next row to set up for working on the edge. Slip, yarn over. Okay, so this is where we're going to go um, around the outside of our open edges. And we're going to be basically sewing these two front and back together while we're putting the I-cord on. So instead of basting them together and then putting the I-cord on, we're just gonna do all in one step. And the way we do that is we need to pick up from the front and the back fabrics at the same time. Okay, so we need to find which stitches we're going to be poking our right needle through to pick up those stitches, okay? Now, as you can see, there's little Vs. These are your knit stitches, okay? And on the edge, you can see this column of knit stitches here. V, 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 okay? We're gonna go on right on the outside of that V. So it's actually another V, but it's facing the other direction. It's kind of like a greater than symbol right here. And we're gonna poke our right needle through that. That's gonna be our first pickup on this side. And on the dark side, okay, we also need to find the stitch we're going to be picking up through, okay? Now on this side, it, we're gonna be poking through a less than symbol. So the V is facing the other direction, like this. On the right side, it's like this. On the left side, it's like this. So this will be the first V that we find on this side. All right, so let's do that. So we've got our four stitches. We need to do our yarn over. Let's get this out of the way. And here is our first V that we're gonna go through right here. And that greater than symbol. Poke our right hand needle through there. And then on the back, 
Remember, we're gonna do our less than symbols. And here is the first less than V right there. So from the inside of your fabric to the outside. Okay, so you're kind of putting those two fabrics together. Now here's our yarn over right here. Okay. And those two stitches we just picked up, now we're gonna knit through them together. So we'll knit through those two together. Now you just sealed the front and the back together on that one stitch. Okay, and now you need to do our normal slip these two over the top of this one. And slide your four stitches to the other end. Do the first knit three. One, two, three. Do your little slip. One, yarn over. Now it's time to find the next Vs that we're gonna go through. Okay, so the front side is greater than symbol. See that V right there? Poke from the front to the inside. And in the back, find the next one. Get that working yarn out of the way there. That's the one we just went through. I know this side is dark and it's harder to see. Might need to get your magnifying glass out if you're old like me. <laughs> um, so that's the V, the less than symbol here. This is the next less than V. And we're gonna poke this right needle from the inside to the outside through that V right there. Okay, now your yarn over. Don't let that one come off, you need that. So yarn over and we're going to knit through these two picked up stitches together. Like that. Okay. And then slip these two over. And you're back to four stitches. And time to slide them over. Knit the first three. One, two, three. Slip the next one. Yarn over. Now we gotta find our next stitch we're going through. Here's the greater than symbol right here. Put it there. Here's the less than symbol right here. through there from the inside to the outside. Try not to split your yarn. If you're working with this Simply Alpaca, it sometimes splits easily. Just be aware of that. And knit through those two picked up stitches. That's one. Pick up your needle. Slide or slip these two over the top. As normal. And you're back to four stitches. I'm going to do it one more time. Knit the first three. One, two, three. Slip the last one. Yarn over. Find the next greater than symbol, which is right here. Slip through. Next less than symbol which is right here. Get out of the way here. Right here. I don't know if you can see it as well as I can. Oh, the eyes are starting to get old. Okay, make sure that yarn over stays yarn over. And knit them together. Whoop, slipped off of there. Knit them together, and you're ready to do your slip two stitches over the top, and you've got four again. Okay, so now as you can see, because we did those three stitches in that corner, it's going around the corner very nicely, and because of our yarn overs, we're not getting any. Um, dark color peeking through on our eye cord. If you didn't do the yarn over, you would probably get a little bit of a peak of a uh, dark color on there. So that's what that yarn over is for. 
Now you can um, go ahead and stop the video here. And um, when you get to this corner, then you can start it again and we'll do this corner together. Okay, so I have two stitches left to go through and um, I'll be at my corner. So I'm gonna go through this one as I normally do. And on this last corner one, I'm actually go gonna go through it three times, just like we did on this corner. Um, and as you can see, I've got my eye cord that's beautifully laid out. It's got a nice edge on both sides. This one almost just blends right into the rest of your work. All right, so let's work it together. So we've got a yarn over, and then we've got to go through this greater than symbol and the less than symbol on the back. And it through both of those together. And so these two over the top. I think I made my yarn over too tight again. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Four stitches. Okay, and then now as the last stitch on our corner, you can see that greater than symbol right there. And that's the one we're gonna go through three times for um, three I-cord rows on that same stitch. these two over. That's our first one. Now let's do number two. There's three stitches that we knit. One stitch that we slip. A yarn over. Now we have to go through that very same stitch that we just went through. So find it. Needle through it. Same thing on the back. Same stitch. We're going to go through that same stitch. Knit through both. Slip these two over the top. Got four stitches again. Good. Okay, right, and then do it one more time. One, two, three. Slip, yarn over. Go through the very same stitch one last time. Front and back. And slip the two over. Make sure you don't sl split your yarn. And there you go. And then on the bottom, this is where you did, this is where your cast on was right here. And this is where your bind off was back here. So same thing, we're going to match these stitches with these stitches. And we're gonna knit them together as one so we can close up this bottom edge. Okay, so we gotta do our yarn over and we gotta find that first V, okay? So remember, we're, we were knitting in this direction, so our Vs are going up like a mountain here. These are the V's for the direction we were knitting. Okay, so the first one, this is the one that we knit through here. And this one here is the next one. We are not going through that one. We're not gonna go through the mountains. We're gonna go through the valleys, okay? So we're gonna pick up the next stitch right here in this valley, okay? And then on the back side, we're going to go through the mountains, okay? So we went through this mountain as our corner. The next one is going to be this mountain here, okay? We're going to knit through that, but we're going to go from the inside to the outside, okay? So, got a yarn over, go through the valley here, and the mountain on the back side. See that mountain? 
can see the mountain here. I know it's hard to see because of the dark yarn. Mountain. So I'm gonna poke it on the inside. Oh, I lost my valley. Here's my valley. Here's my mountain. Okay. So we've got it going through the front, into the middle, and through the back. And we've got our yarn over here. And we're gonna knit through those two together. Okay. Grab your other needle so you can slip these two stitches over the top of that one. Four stitches again. Slide them on down and knit through the first three. Slip the last one, yarn over. And now we'll find our next valley. That's the valley we went through. Now we're going to find this valley. There's that valley right there. And we have that one. And we have to find our mountain on the back. There's the mountain right there. Can you see it? There's the mountain we went through last time. Here's the next mountain right here. You can kind of look at the, the column going down too. That kind of sometimes helps see that mountain, mountain, mountain. So just follow those mountains down to the stitch you want right there. So we're gonna poke our needle through right there. Okay, put that yarn over. And knit them together and then slip over. And back to four stitches, which we are going to slide and we're going to work that one more time together and then you can do it on your own. So one, two, three, slip, yarn over, find the next valley is right here. Okay. Oh, looks like I went through too many. See, I've got three little strands on there. I only want two. There we go. Okay, and then we gotta find our next mountain, which is right here. See that? yarn over is going over and knit those two together and then slip the two over and back to four stitches okay so go ahead and go across your bottom edge and when you get to this corner you're gonna do the three um, I cord rows in that same corner stitch as you did before on this corner and this corner. And then before you start working the I cord, I cord across this edge, you're going to want to insert your pillow cover because if you don't, then you'll have a very, very flat pillow. <laughs> so you need to insert your pillow cover or whatever kind of stuffing you're using for your pillow and then work this I cord just the same as we did on this edge. You find the stitch on the edge. So on this one, it'll be these greater than symbols here and less than symbols back here. Okay, and then you'll go onto this corner and you'll work that corner the same as you worked these. So three rows into the same stitch. And then when you get to your last smiley face bump, you'll work that row and I'll work it with you. Um, and, and then I'll show you how to graft the, the end of your I cord to the beginning of your I cord. So go ahead and work all the way around. Don't forget to insert your pillow cover when you come to this corner before you work this edge. Work this corner and then start up the video again so we can work these stitches together and I can show you the, uh, the uh, Kitchener for grafting. 
Okay, so now I have one more garter ridge stitch to go through. It's right here. It's my smiley face. You see it? Smiley face. So I'm going to work that with you. So I've got my yarn over. Go through the smiley face. Pick up a stitch. And slip these two over. And then, now you can see that these two edges are pretty much coming together, okay? Now, when we're doing a, now it's time to do our graft. <laughs> so, <clears throat> when we're doing a Kitchener graft, you wanna keep in mind that the whole purpose of a Kitchener graft is to match the V's so that it almost looks like it's continuous, like it's not, like there's no join there. Um, and the way to do that is to follow the, the let's see, let me, have, let me see how to put this. You wanna follow the way the yarn is going in your stitches. So as, as you can see on this portion, and I did overstuff my pillow. <laughs> um, stitches in a stockinette stitch pattern make sort of a uh, wiggly line. So they, if we follow that line around, it's up and over and down and around, up, down, up, down, okay? So when you're grafting with a Kitchener, you're following that line like a wiggly line with your um, tail and your your sewing needle, your yarn needle, because this line of V's and this line of V's are what you are grafting with the new line. Okay, so this, if you can kind of keep in mind where that line needs to go around these two. And around these two, and around these two, and around these two. I hope that's kind of clear. So um, you're going to need to cut a length of yarn that's going to be long enough to go around, 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 around. <clears throat> so I like, since there's only four stitches, there's not a whole lot, but I like a little, a little extra so that I can weave that end in at the end. <clears throat> so I'm going to get out about, let's see, oh, that's about 12 inches of yarn. Cut that, grab my yarn needle, and thread it through. Okay. Now, this yarn is coming from this last stitch. Okay, you can see that there. It's coming out of that last stitch. As I pull on it, you can see it. See that, moving from there. So where would this yarn go if it was a continuous, you know, around my I-cord edge? This yarn would go around behind these two um, legs, I guess you could say, of this mountain V-stitch. So that's where I'm gonna put this yarn. It's gonna go behind these two legs of this mountain. I'm going to pull that through. Okay. So now, if you can imagine, this yarn needs to go around these two legs of this V. Okay. This is a loop V for this. And it's hard to see, but there's a loop over here too. Right there. This yarn coming off of here needs to go between those two. So we're gonna go through this stitch as if to purl. Make sure you don't split the yarn. We're gonna slip it off the end. And then we're gonna go through this stitch as if to knit. Okay. Don't slip that off the end, keep that one on but pull your yarn through, 
Okay. Now the next part is we're going to go through these two legs of the next V. Okay, see these two legs coming off here? This one and this one. I'm going to go through those two. Try not to split your yarn. <laughs> I know I keep saying that. With this alpaca, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, we're going to go through those two legs. Oops, the yarn got cut off on my needle. Okay. And pull that tight. You don't have to pull it super tight because um, when we're done grafting, we're going to go back and kind of adjust our stitches to make them um, at the same tension as the rest of our stitches. Okay, now we're going to go through this stitch that we previously went through knitwise. We're going to go through it purlwise and slip it off the end of this needle. So purl wise this way, slip it off, and then go through this stitch, knit wise, but don't slip it off. Leave it on your needle and pull your thread through. Okay. And give it a little tug, but not too tight. If you go too tight, you're gonna make that stitch disappear, and we don't want that. We want that to show. That's our new little grafted stitch right there. Okay, now you need to turn your work a little bit because we're going around this I cord. Okay, and the next V is right here. That's one leg, that's the other leg. Go through that one. I know it's kind of hard to see on this edge here, but it's there those two legs. Go through that, pull it all the way through, and again don't pull it too tight because you can adjust that tension later on. Now we're going to go through this stitch again purl wise and off the end. Go through this stitch knit wise. Don't take it off yet. Okay, pull it all the way through. And then there's no more stitches here, right? They're gone. Oh no, what do I do? <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide this last one on the inside because this is an I cord. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna hide this. You can kind of see these are your pearl bumps that we didn't go through. That one, that one, that one. Those were our frowny faces from before. So you can go ahead and pick up that frowny face that you didn't pick up and knit through on your eye cord. Push your needle all the way through and then go through purl wise and off and all the way through. Okay? Now things are loose and kind of wonky so we need to go back and tighten things up a little bit. Now it looks like I pulled mine reasonably well but this one looks a little tight so I'm going to loosen that up a little bit. Okay? Then I gotta loosen this one. And you're just gonna work your way all the way around on your grafting and kind of adjust the stitches so they look. You want the tension on these grafted stitches to match the tension on the stitches around them. So it looks like there's no graft. It looks like there's just a continuous eye cord. And it looks like this one's a little bit tight, so I'm gonna pull that one. Pull this one a little. So you're just kind of adjusting them till it looks, you know, good. All right, so and then th this one is loose, but that's okay because when we weave this end in, it'll pull it down. So we're gonna weave our end in through the middle of our eye cord. See that? My, my needle is going through the middle of our eye. I'm gonna come out about an inch away from where you went in the bottom of your eye cord and pull it. See how that pulls that stitch in? Now, when you go back to anchor it, make sure that you leave at least one leg of something between where you went in, because you don't want to go in right where you came out, otherwise it'll just slip right out. So you need to leave at least one leg. So here's the leg that I'm going to go around. So you can see I came out here, 
I'm going over that leg and in again, and I'm pushing my needle through the middle of that I cord. Okay, let me come back out here, about an inch away. Now, if you like, if you're worried about it slipping out for whatever reason, <laughs> you can go back again one more time. And it really anchors that yarn. It will not come undone. Just make sure you don't pull it really tight in here. It just should be laying flat on the inside of that eye cord. Okay, and then you can snip close to your work. Make sure you don't snip work. Just there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then you need to weave in this side, right? So let's weave in this end. Okay, and this one we can just kind of weave in wherever. Oops, I like to go in right where it's coming out. And through the middle of that I-cord. I don't like to come out at the top of my I-cord. I like to come out right where the I-cord meets my pillow. And then back through. I don't feel like anchoring this one a third time, so I'm just going to cut it right here. There you go. And your pillow is done. I don't know what that is. That's probably just a end that's poking through, and you can just poke that back in. Might also be my stuffing. I used... Uh, yarn waste and alpaca fiber waste for my stuffing. <laughs> okay, so there's your pillow. Congratulations, now you get to enjoy your nice soft alpaca pillow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos. Happy knitting!